So come on, let's nail this together. I've been thinking about this and I really think there's just two things and two things only you need to nail driver this summer. You're gonna hit the middle more often, you're gonna hit the golf ball longer and it's head position, not the driver head. Well, that does help, but your head position and hiding your trail shoulder in that downswing for as long as possible. Let me explain and break this down. And I know if you're anything like my students, you know you're capable of much more power with driver. So it's all about where this head is at the address position. And you can see this here with Scotty Scheffler. Also on this downswing where your trail shoulder is. Both Rory and Scotty make this exact move. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it too. And there's only two points that you have to nail that's gonna allow you to hit this golf ball longer. Point number one on our list. It's a round setup, but I don't want you to think about this too complicated. All I want you to think about is your head not the driver head, when you're addressing this golf ball, I want you to make sure it's in the middle of your stance. So if you were just to dangle a golf club from your chin or your nose, you want to make sure that it's dangling in the middle of your stance. It's not somewhere here. Now I know that might feel more powerful weight on your left hand side, but that's really going to affect your low point in the golf swing. So your low point is essentially the point at which you're arc of your swing is at its lowest. And for a driver, we want this to be significantly before the golf ball. So having your head more in the middle of your stance will help you do this. Having your head closer towards your lead foot makes it a lot harder. And then you've got to make compensations. And those compensations would look something like leaning back and trying to hit. So the first thing I want you to do, point number one, as you're addressing the golf ball, just make sure your head is in the middle of your stance. And I'll be honest, once you've checked this a few times, you'll get seriously good at this. Whew, I did a middle. Now, the next point is a little more complicated, but don't let that worry you. I want you to feel like you're always blocking off your lead side. Let me explain. It's that feeling of blocking off the left to hide the right shoulder. Let me show you this from a few angles. So we're all a bit eager to hit the golf ball, right? The setup's really gonna help stop that, but you're still gonna be a little eager. We all like to throw the right side out, left side goes, and that gives us that look of over the top, something I really want you to avoid, like really want you to get rid of. So if we had the idea of blocking off our left, hiding our right for longer, I've got three stages for you to get this nail in a fab drill. We hide that right side, block the left. Look how we get that release much more through the shot. Yes, my right shoulder is still gonna move round, but it's like I'm hitting through here. And if I was imagine I was hitting straight towards, not you guys right here, but you, we really would feel like I'm blocking this off. I'm keeping this in here. I'm releasing it in this space. Look how much more powerful, look how much more up on the golf ball, not over and on it early. So that whole idea of what I want you to feel is that you're keeping that right side back for as long as possible, blocking off the left and releasing past the left shoulder in the entire golf swing. When you've got driver, if you want to be more efficient and hit it longer this summer. Now I know that looks really odd, but can you really see how keeping that right shoulder back, keeping it in here, will really help you hit more up and hit from the inside. Everything that's conducive to good driver shots. Good driver. Conducive to good driver shots. Okay, you've already got stage one sorted. That's your head position. Let's talk about the final two, and this is that cracking bit of a drill to get it into your swing. And 2024 marks some brand new golf balls for Vice Golf. And all these golf balls have been developed for players. 
collecting data from everyday golfers. And each ball has identified what characteristics each player needs. So you have, for example, the Vice Pro Plus, and this is the golf ball that I use and have done since 2023. I love this one, but you've also got as an option the Vice Drive, where these are the key features, the Vice Tour, or even the Vice Pro Air, the brand new golf ball for 2024. And if you want more information on this, just click the link down below in the description. Follow this. Place your left hand on the golf club, as I have here, right? And just try and get into golf posture if you can a little bit. I don't mind if you're a little bit up, but the more you can get over the golf ball, the better. Right hand out in front of us. And I want you to imagine we're going to be throwing through this gap. Now look how this keeps my right shoulder back. I can't throw it out early because I'd never throw through the gap. I want you to practice almost like that skimming the stone feeling, but we're really working it under. We're getting the idea of keeping that right shoulder back, keeping the left shoulder blocking it. Whatever feeling you get from this, this is what I want you to do. Now, when I've done this with students, they said this to me. Alex, I feel like my shoulders are doing less. Alex, I feel like my shoulders are pointing more to the right. So maybe they could be two cues that you could use. I certainly feel that I'm not letting target see my right shoulder for as long as possible. So on the golf course, make a few practice swings, feeling as though right shoulder stays away from target for as long as possible. Now it always will finish through. I'm not saying we don't want that, but I'm really going back to that feeling, trying to keep it hidden from target, not shown to target too early in that downswing. And I can assure you, right, those two little tweaks alone is gonna give you so much more power this year. Let me hit this one away and just, just watch this ball flight. I'd also say you can swing easier, but still get more out of it. So get your head, take that feeling. You've got your drill. I've given you some feelings for this area of keeping the right shoulder back. The final stage to this, three quarter speed. Trust that you're gonna hit it better, more efficient. And that is the recipe for good drives of summer. Nothing more, nothing less, just that. I'm done, that's all you need.